Hi everyone, welcome to JD Gardens. Today is part two in our canna lily series on how to propagate or germinate your canna seed. Now everyone familiar with the channel knows that canna lily is our favorite plant. We've been growing them for years. And over the years, we've germinated or try to germinate thousands of seeds, and I mean thousands. Now the reason I say it that way is because canna lily seeds can be a little tricky. They have a very hard shell on them that needs to be addressed before the seed will actually germinate and the plant will grow. Now, over the years, we've tried a bunch of different methods that we're going to share with you today on how to crack this shell. So let's go inside and I'll show you how it's done. So in doing cannas, seeds, you want to have your seeds. Now a seed is a hard shell. So the key is you want to break into that shell. So there's a couple of different ways. Sometimes people like to use some kind of handsaw. Now this I find to be a little dangerous, but it does work. You just have to get practice. See, that's what you're looking to get, to score the seed. Now, another way is using a block. This block is simple. It has holes drilled in for different sized cannas, seeds. And then you score it so your saw can fit in there. So I'm going to give you an example. So I'm going to grab a... Mm -hmm. So you do get the scoring as well. What I find is it spins around inside the hole, so I don't really use that too much. The best way I find is to get a pair of needle nose pliers. Now the reason I want needle nose <clears throat> is so that it'll lay flat and you see it's protruding up. Then you get yourself a file. I like using a square one. Hold it down. Get your balance. See, you've already broken, you've broken the shell. That's all, two seconds. Now what I like to do, using an angled one, I turn it on a corner and I like to dig in a little deeper. That allows me to get closer inside the shell. Let me do another one for you, actually. Hold it tight. Again, hold it. Not much pressure at all. And that's fine. Then I turn on the side. See, I've made a groove in it. <clears throat> now, when putting seeds, you don't want to put too many. You want to overcrowd them. It's going to start stifling, and you'll want to change the water out maybe every other day. So you don't want to put any more than two dozen. These are the ones that I did earlier, just to show you. This is what you're looking for. That is what you're looking for. That can take a couple of days to grow. You see how that's, huh? That's where we scored it, and that's where it's growing. And then you can plant it.
Okay, it's time to start planting our seeds. Now for canna lily seeds, I don't like using the seed starting cells. They tend to take up a lot of room and I'll explain that in a minute. I usually go towards the two and a half inch pot. Now, the reason why is I like to plant a bunch of seeds together. Now the problem with canna lily seeds is they're very temperamental. You could plant maybe a dozen and you might only get half of them to grow and sometimes even less. I've planted thousands of these seeds and I've lost a bunch of them. But that really doesn't matter because in the course of a season you'll wind up getting hundreds if not more from any given canna plant. So what you want to do is you want to place them together in a uh, spread them apart a little bit in a pot this size. I'll probably put maybe 10 to 12. And then you'll want to put them in your grow rack if you have one or leave them on your windowsill and let them grow. And after a couple of weeks, you'll have something like this. Few seeds, I mean, out of this pot, I probably planted around a dozen seeds and I got about, uh, about five or six and not too bad and they're growing pretty well. And this pot, a uh, few less, maybe, you know, maybe five smaller, but that's okay. Now you can take this two and a half inch pot and up pot it to something larger and let it grow. Or you can break them apart and make individual plants. We'll have a future video on how to do that. So there you go. I know it seems like a lot of work to go through compared to other plants where you just take the seed and put it in the ground and it'll germinate on its own. But trust me, it's well worth it. With a little bit of practice, before you know it, you're gonna have a tray like this and plants like this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please leave us a comment and let us know what you think. And also tell us what your favorite candidate is. And be sure to hit like and subscribe. Until next time, remember, yes we canna.